that question all the time from perspectives about how, how is the academic athletic balance and do the players have time to to do well in their studies and the the big answer to that i think uh, broadly is that in high school you are scheduled from dusk till dawn you have class mm-hmm. from what 7 30 8 o'clock all the way through the afternoon then you have practice then you have to study for all your exams and everything at night and you might have other activities on top of that. So your schedule is very tight all day long. In college, you take fewer classes. The work assignments are bigger, but you don't necessarily have class all day, every day, like you do in high school. So there are bigger daylight chunks of time that you have available to study when you're in college. And I think one of the biggest contributors to success is learning how to be disciplined and use those daylight hours to study and get your work done. Because if you don't, then you're up all night and everything goes downhill from there. Your health, your performance, your happiness level, everything. You need to sleep. So I think just learning to use those daylight hours is really critical. Um, I'd say another important thing, you know, wherever you are in the process now, whether you're a you know, 23, 24, 25, you know, whatever, um, is, you know, sit down and sit down with your family and think about what do you really want out of your, not just college lacrosse experience, but out of your college experience. Um, I think one of the things I really enjoy about like the D3 showcase model is that a lot of you guys as athletes um, either know I really want what Division Three offers or it's something I'm interested in anyway. Um, and I think for us, you know, you, you get the variety of athletes, you know, the athletes who are like, I know that I want to play D3. This is the academic and athletic balance that I'm looking for, where I can still do other things and be involved in other things. Um, and then there's a big difference from like the, oh, I'm playing D3, but I think I should be a D1 athlete. Um, so whatever level you're shooting for, and if that's D3, make sure you know why that's what you want and what you want out of that experience. Um, And then even within D3, every program's different. So as you meet and talk to different teams and coaches, you can kind of find out um, the time commitment, what's asked of me, um, what the academic situation is. um, Do all of those fit into that picture that I've kind of made for myself? um, That's what I want. And I think to to add a little bit more detail to that is um, there are plenty of what we would consider D1 caliber athletes who opt for D3 for a couple of reasons. One is because their academic major winds up being pretty intensive. Um, Number two is because they want to do other things like play a second sport or be involved in, you know, other organizations and clubs outside of lacrosse or even, you know, be in the orchestra. Study Um, abroad. Study abroad, yeah. Study abroad is another huge one. So there's a lot of reasons why we wind up with with very high level athletes playing at D3. I actually was a two sport athlete at Rowan. Um, I played both field hockey and lacrosse. Um, Yeah. And I would uh, encourage anyone when I'm to, when we're talking to our athletes, um, our prospective student athletes, it's about the college itself. Does the college give you, take lacrosse out of it, right? Because your commitment, there's no financial commitment in division three, like there is in other, you know, divisions so you know take that commitment out of it you are there are about over 300 plus division three programs so there is a home for everyone but there isn't necessarily that's not you got to pick like what i'm trying to say is um there is a home for everyone in division three because there's so many and the spectrum is so large so you really have to think that and weigh what your options are and what you want to do so if you take lacrosse out do you love the, the university or college for what it is and how it runs and can you get your four years experience from there and then we check those boxes that's great now let's look at the commitment side of things um you know i mean obviously you guys hopefully you watched the final four and the championship game this weekend which was so outstanding and high level lacrosse and highly competitive and um division one caliber athletes we get them all the time and that's what makes it so exciting so i think depending on what you want academically and athletically, you have to kind of mirror those. Um, there's some, one of the worst things that people ask me all the time and is about playing time before I even see them play on my program yet. And I'm like, wait, if you're coming for playing time 
and that's your number one focus, then maybe we're not the program for you because I want you to compete here. Um, and I want to raise that level of competition. And um, so that's something that I feel like you just have to kind of go and explore different size schools and different universities and kind of get a feel for it, whether you like that college for what it is and all that it offers. Because Division Three gives you everything. It gives you the best of both worlds. Um, that's why it's so outstanding to coach in it and it's so great to play as a two-sport athlete myself as a national champion in field hockey and I was a you know final four sweet uh, sweet 16 person in in lacrosse and uh you can do both it's capable you're capable as long as your major allows you to then we have high level engineers I don't know how they're going to do two sports (laughs) some of those majors don't let you do that or you have nurses or pre-med majors who you know, so sometimes you you have to kind of balance those things out. And I think that's the beauty of going through this experience. I want to add one more uh, kind of off the wall thing that people don't think about is creating a healthy relationship with working out now. Because one of, you know, everybody says that academic balance, all those kind of things. And when you get to us in the fall and we start our pretty intensive fall ball and you end up hurt for the first two weeks um, because you don't have a, a foundation of working out or lifting or whatever the case may be, not having to almost teach you that is a big thing for us. And I think that it helps keep you healthy and you're not so focused on your body and, and living in the athletic training room um, that you can have good grades and do the things that you need to do and not have to have that extra added time expenditure um, on top of your plate. So if you can get a good relationship with working out, um, running, you know, lifting, all those kind of things that we're going to expect from you, it'll only benefit you once you actually get to campus. Yeah, I think those are great points. And I think something that Coach Lindsay alluded to is what we at Sports Recruits call the broken leg test. If you have a career ending injury or you decide that lacrosse is just too much for you to carry with the weight of your academic schedule, are you still happy at that school? And that's something that that is really, really important to think about.